24 hours ago, we accomplished something truly amazing. We changed the fanatical Bumblebee shippers for the best. We taught them to put more effort into promoting the show, to be kind and honest and hardworking. We taught them and they learned. But unfortunately, it seems like those lessons were lost on a select few, a select few fanatics who have to wallow in toxicity even when their companions realize that they are in the wrong. Their companions changed. Unfortunately, this group I'm about to show you seems to be completely broken. And I don't mean that metaphorically. I mean they're actually broken. Take a look. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Today is Wednesday, May 20th. And we have an update to the situation from about 24 hours ago. 24 hours ago. It's going very well. We end up convincing a number of fanatical Bumblebee shippers to actually put effort into promoting Ruby. And they listen. They did. We changed the entire Twitter meta. In this video, we have more evidence that we have done that as well. Unfortunately, unlike those fanatics who actually ended up doing a positive thing somewhat, these other fanatics ended up going down the negative route. Let's take a look at that. Apparently, we have caused their script to break entirely. A group of fanatics are now spamming Twitter with a copy pasta that we spurred them to make. Round of applause for our community. Not only have we changed the Ruby Twitter meta for shipping, we've also caused them to create a copy pasta. I mean, how much greater does it get? This is some wonderful stuff. We have a true impact. I'm going to be more proud of everyone in this community. Thank you all very much. The copy pasta, as you can see on screen, says, Ridiculous clickbait title aside, I'm with him on this one, because comparing the well-worked friendship between Blake and Yang with the toxic pandering that was Catradora, well, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so the problem, th this is what blows my mind. These people were trying to get the she fans to watch Ruby because they wanted more people to support Bumblebee or something like that. And now they're suddenly turning on the she fandom. <laughs> did, we, did we break their script that much? We upset them so much that they gave up their plan and do the opposite of it? It's, it's derangement syndrome for us. They have to do the opposite of what we say, apparently. We, we tell them that it, there's nothing wrong with them trying to get people from she to watch Ruby, just we suggest them to do it in a better way. And what do they do? They start spamming a copy pasta that calls the she ship Catradora, Catra and Adora. I think those are the characters, Catradora. They start calling that toxic pandering and spamming that. They literally have to do the opposite of what we say. Maybe we should try this out. Hey, don't subscribe. Don't subscribe and don't turn notifications on. Don't become a patron on Patreon, fanatics. Don't, uh, don't, <laughs> don't PayPal me money. I don't know. I don't know. This is some very weird stuff. I couldn't be more amused. I mean, what a follow-up this is. This is a weird situation, guys. So I'm sure you're curious who started the copy pasta. Like, who was the first one to post that? And I think I found where it started from. It comes from this tweet. This person made a tweet has my video in the picture and has the caption, what? <laughs> Just what? And uh, so they're calling this clickbait, by the way. What's so clickbaity about this? Like the title doesn't even, the title doesn't seem clickbaity to me. I don't know. she ended and Bubble Bee Shippers try to convince those fans to watch Ruby in the worst way possible. What's clickbaity about that? I mean, it doesn't seem clickbaity to me. I don't know. But apparently that set them off. This person says, I'm livid. I'm livid. <laughs> doesn't even watch the video, I'm assuming. Just reads the uh, thumbnail and the title, uh, and that makes them livid. <laughs> it's too easy. Let's take a look at the comments here. It says, I'm livid. Response, people are literally just trying to cheer up sad fans with more rep. Like, WTF is wrong with him. It gets in those YouTube clicks. Well, for one, I don't think this is very accurate. It seemed like most of the fans were very happy because the ending of Shira was really good, they thought. They liked it. They were happy with the ending because Catradora was a thing. So that's weird to suddenly say that they were sad fans that you were just trying to cheer up. No, 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 no. That's not the case. That's totally not the case. You, you had a bunch of happy fans who enjoyed the ending and fanatics trying to pull them from what they were enjoying to the show that they wanted to watch. That's the reality situation. It wasn't a bunch of sad fans, a bunch of happy fans. Anyways, it looks like this is the first instance of the copy pasta. Person retweets the tweet that we read a moment ago, the one that has the video picture and says, what? And then there's the copy pasta right there. Before it was a copy pasta, though. Before all the fanatics started to run with it. 
Ridiculous clickbait title aside, I'm with him on this one. Because comparing the well-worked friendship between Blake and Yang with the toxic pandering that was Catradora, well, dot, dot, dot. By the way, in somewhat other news, I've been saying Catradora so much over the last two to three days, I realized that it sounds like a kaiju. It sounds like King Ghidorah. So I made this meme of, uh, <laughs> I made this picture of uh, Adora and Catra on King Ghidorah. There you go. This is Catradora. <laughs> We've got such a great response from it comes in pints. Well, what the heck is that supposed to mean, dude? He says, run, it's Catradora in the gift, the gift with the caption. It's so perfect. It really sounds like a kaiju name. Oh my gosh. It's so funny to me. I love this. If you guys don't think I'm a complete nutcase and you agree with me that it sounds like a kaiju or something, please uh, in the comments say like, run. It's Catradora, or some kind of Kaiju Catradora reference, please. If you made it this far in the video, and you think that's funny as well, I really can't wait to see those comments. That's gonna, that's gonna thoroughly amuse me. Again, this is gonna be the morning segment, so I'm gonna, like, wake up, have some coffee, and look at the comments on this video, and I sure hope to see some Catradora jokes. I really do. Kaiju Catradora jokes. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna leave it at that. This segment will be a little bit shorter than the last few morning segments. I don't want to drag it on, though. I think that King Ghidorah thing, uh, the Catradora thing, rather, is a good way to leave it off. So let's give some shout outs for the kind people who promoted yesterday's final video of the day, the segment about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Shout out to Mr. Anime 343, Zekrovinth, Ice Cream is Just an Illusion, Intimidator 0108, Jeffrey H, Great Awakening, Lancaster Kit, Striker Red, Baku Girl, Fubuki is Goat. Yeah, uh, you're lucky I read that whole thing, Fubuki. Tatsumaki's whiny says, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, Dinosaur King, and Pot on the Brain, and Coden Midoriya X. Thank you all for tuning in as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video. We will have plenty of more to talk about in a handful of hours, so I look forward to seeing you then. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. I didn't